Hey, it's the first week of March 2009. This is the very first CLR audio podcast with Chris Liebing. Today I ended up having uh, Mr. Josh Wink himself sitting in my studio. Um, Josh, how come you're here? Let me just say that I feel so fortunate to be able to have friends like you all over the world that when planes, trains, and automobiles go extremely wrong, I can call you up and say, hey, I'm in Frankfurt, I'm stuck here, what are you doing? And then you call me back and say, hey, let's hang out. And I say, okay, let me come over to your place and cook dinner. And you say, great, let's do it. So uh, I was trying to get home this morning from uh, Berlin and there was a strike. And I went from Berlin to Frankfurt with a two and a half hour delay and missed my original flight and then my reconnection flight. So uh, I'm stuck here in Frankfurt and uh, I called your old number. And then I sent you an email <laughs> and you called me back. So I have a night off in Frankfurt and we're hanging out. Well, luckily I have now an iPhone where I can read my emails on. Um, uh, well, you've been hearing that Josh has some uh, travel difficulties. Um, he's basically traveling uh, throughout Europe right now because he uh, has just released his uh, brand new album, When a Banana Still Was a Banana. Did I do it right? Close. Close? What is it? When a, banana, when a banana was just a banana. Why do I always say still a banana? Okay, when a banana just was a banana. Um, that's, that's, that's the one thing which takes him here. Um, I, I, was, I was very fortunate and very honored that I was uh, able to do a little remix of uh, one of the tracks, the Counter Clock 319. Um, of, uh, the original is on his album. One of uh, many amazing tracks on this album. And uh, I actually do play this in, in my set. Um, I will uh, tell you when it's running. Uh, I think it's sort of in the beginning of my set tonight. And um, the other thing that uh, it's very interesting to listen to uh, Josh's um, stories when, when he's traveling, but he just showed me something uh, um, really exciting. Um, you better you tell the people what that is and where they can find it. Well, for promotion for the album, uh, I did a two-week tour. It was pretty much, nine, I think, nine dates in 13 days, 12 days, or something like that. Uh, you know how that is. And anyways, the Beatport guys um, suggested me doing a Beat Portal blog. And uh, after every gig, I would write about my travels and my journeys and my experiences. And I really go quite into depth. Um, I showed it to you and I think you were pretty shocked with how long they were and how much they didn't really have to do with, oh, uh, it was a great gig and uh, this was awesome and I played this track and it was great. It really had to do with uh, my experiences and how we travel and everything that we're kind of faced with. So uh, for the past two weeks, I've been posting it with a couple of photos on beatportal.com and uh, it should be up for a little bit. So. Uh, I think the next one that needs to be finished is last week in uh, London at Matter and then at the Panorama Bar in Berlin on Sunday. But uh, 
I'm excited to see, uh, hear from you about what you think about them after you read them. I definitely read them, and it's a little underestimation uh, to say um, I, I uh, posted some blog. It's it's more like a book. Um, it's more like a book. I'm gonna go and read a little bit. You hear some music, and uh, I'll be right back with Josh after this music. Hey, this is Josh Wink, and you're listening to the exclusive CLR Radio Podcast.
You're listening to the CLR Audio Podcast with Chris Liebing.
Hey, you're listening to the CLR Audio Podcast with Chris Liebing. And uh, since it's a CLR podcast, I thought I'll give you a little sneak preview on uh, CLR 26 by Perk. That's the track you're just listening to. It's uh, really, really cool and funky, a little different in style, um, but definitely a good one. And um, I'm going to mix uh, Turbula Chord in there. Uh, CLR 23, my track on CLR 23. So um, let's uh, stay tuned and um, we'll have another, let me check, 20 minutes to go. Enjoy.
All right, I'm back here um, with my surprise guest tonight in, in, in uh, stranded in Frankfurt at the airport. So we ended up uh, having a great dinner together. He uh, cooked some amazing pasta, which uh, inspired me again, um, uh, just with garlic, some tomatoes, but uh, interesting way of doing it. Um, my guest here is uh, Josh Wink, and uh, well, it's all it's all falling into place because I just uh, happened to do a remix for him, which you were hearing earlier on, and he's on his album tour, and he was just talking about his great blog at beatportal.com, and uh, I want to hear more about the album, so um, we we can't play any tracks right now because the set is running, but maybe I'll I'll, I'll uh, do that next week or something. And but the people could actually just go to wherever iTunes, Speedport, and check check the the music out. Uh, when a banana still was a banana, you you've explained it pretty well to me. But maybe you explain it to the listeners. What do you mean by that? And 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 what is on the album actually? Well, first of all, I want to say it was kind of neat how the remix that you did came about. Yeah. Because you know I did this track, and most of the tracks in the album are really old for me. Uh, they were tracks that I never released that I would just play out at gigs and uh, friends of mine like yourself or whoever would be playing with me would come up to me after I would play the song saying hey what is that and I said well, it's something I did uh, never released it it's like three years old and, well, why don't you release it so a lot of this album is based on well why didn't you release it kind of thing It's a little bit of everything. There's some deep house on there. There's some uh, techno, uh, acid house, uh, tech house, uh, a little bit of everything. But uh, I sent this one track counterclock to you because I thought that, you know, it's it can kind of sound like a Josh Wink production, but it's it's slower, but it has this intensity that I think that you would appreciate. And I remember sending it to you one night. And then the next day, I think, you you send me an email back and uh, an iChat message like, yo, accept this. And I couldn't believe it that you did your own version of it that night. And I think we just talked about the possibilities of it coming out on Ovum and, uh, you know, as, as we're friends. And, you know, this weekend, actually, someone asked me, how did this remix come about with Chris, of, of all people? And I said, well, we're boys, you know? Uh, you know, it has a lot to do with the music but it has a lot to do with other things in the music too and we were excited to put it out on Ovum it was different for us but you'd really just kind of did a different interpretation and didn't really change very much I think you were very animate about saying that it was just kind of a, an edit rather than a remix and um, you, st you stood clear to the uh, no you stood true to the original Uh, which was cool. So that's how that came about. And I actually play it now more than I do my own, which is kind of neat for me. Yoo-hoo, that's very neat for me. And, and, and the thing is, I think since about eight or ten years, we've, we've been like joking about that I'm going to send you some music for Ovum one day. And finally, I'm humbled that it finally worked out. So thanks a lot, Josh. Yeah, no, I'm, we're still waiting for that house track that you said that you're always going to do. But... Uh, I know you're going to be inspired in the new year coming back to the studio. But anyways, the album uh, yeah, came out on Ovum, and uh, we have three different formats that it's released on. We have a limited edition, uh, double, two double 12 inches, two double albums actually. Uh, we have a CD, which is a continuous mix like a DJ mix. And then we have uh, the individual digital tracks, which you can get on uh, digital Uh, record stores, you know, like the ones you mentioned, Beatport or uh, iTunes or Amazon, for a matter of fact. And we're really happy, and we're really doing quite well with it. And we're very happy with the press and the fact that people are really kind of understanding the concept behind it, which is, you know, uh, there's a time in our lives when we listen to music differently when we were younger, when we were teenagers, and there was an innocence to this music. Uh, we just liked the music for what it was. We didn't talk bad about it. We didn't say anything really except for, you know, this was a soundtrack for our lives. And uh, somewhere along, around, I don't know, when, I, I don't know, but somewhere when we grew up, we lost that where music then became something completely different. And so many people uh, talk too much rather than just listen to the music. And I think the music should be a little bit about everything, but it should be about 
this innocence, this time when we first heard this music and what a great feeling it was. Kind of like when you were a child and, you know, when a banana was only a banana, you looked at it and it was yellow and monkeys ate it and that was it. Not later on in life when it can remind you of lots of different things, you know, so the innocent time when things were just what they were. I can't add anything to that. That's uh, exactly right. So, um, see you later, Josh. Danke schön. Hey, this is Josh Wink, and you're listening to the exclusive CLR Radio Podcast. Mm-hmm.